Okay, so everyone, welcome to your video tutorial on adding and subtracting decimals. Okay, today we are going to be doing a lot of working out. <laughs> Get it? It's a dog working out. You're welcome. Okay, the addition and subtraction of decimals, you'll need to write this down, follows a similar process to that what we learn uh, that we do with whole numbers. We've done some addition and subtraction of whole numbers right at the start of the year. You were You'll remember, sorry, when we did that, we lined up the units and the tens and the hundreds and all of our place values, and then we subtracted each column. When dealing with adding and subtracting decimals, it's really quite similar, okay? We follow a very similar process. So let's have a look at a few examples. Okay, 8.31 plus 5.93. Now, the thing you'll notice about decimals is they have this decimal point. The main thing to note about the decimal point is you have to put decimal points under decimal points. You must make sure you line them up. So the first thing that I like to do is I draw my two decimal points here, okay, and then I draw my line underneath. And then there's 8 is there, 0 0.31, and then 5 is in my units, and then in my tenths, and then in my hundredths. Oops, I wrote 1. It was meant to be 5.93. Okay, and it's an addition, so then I write my operator there. 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 9 is 12. Now I know I put the 2 there and I carry my 1. Where my decimal points are, I put my decimal points under my decimal points. Okay, 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 1 becomes 14. Okay, and that's my answer there. The main thing you need to make sure is you keep your decimal points under your decimal points and you line up originally all the correct place values underneath each other. Let's look at my next example. I have a few here now. Okay, like I said, I do the same process. One, two, three. My decimal points under my decimal points. It is an addition one, so I'll put a plus in there. And it's, I'll start four, six, 64.8. Okay, my next one is 3.012. Okay, and 5.94. See how all my place values are correctly underneath each other? Now there's a few gaps, okay? You can choose to do this if you want. If you don't think you need to do it, it's fine. I sometimes like to fill in the gaps with zeros, okay? Because I find that helps me remember things sometimes. And then I can simply go 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 1 plus 4 is 5. 8 plus 0 plus 9 is 17. 7's there, carry the 1. Decimal points under decimal points, very important. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 5 is 12. Sorry, 13, good gosh. Okay, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13. I carry the 1, okay. Now 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 0, plus 0. So my answer becomes 73.752. Again, guys, making sure I put the decimal points under the decimal points and putting those zeros in those places if I need to remember. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Let's look at some subtraction. Okay, I always make sure my top value goes on the top. I put my two decimal points there because I have two numbers. 5.83. 3. And then 3.12. Okay. It's very, very important that I put that and say that, subtract that, very important I put that on the top. And then I simply do, it's a subtraction, so I remind myself that, 3 subtract 2 is 1, 8 subtract 1 is 7, decimal points under decimal points, see how clear that is, 5 subtract 3 is 2. So my answer for this one becomes 2.71. Okay, let's have a look at this very final example. Okay, 146 point Oh, sorry, I didn't draw my points first. Let's draw those first. Decimal points under decimal points. 3, 5. Subtract 79.5. Again, if you want to put those zeros in to help remind you, that's fine. Okay, decimal points under decimal points. 5 subtract a 0 is 5. 3 subtract 5, I can't do. So I'm going to borrow 1 from the 6 and that will become the 5. And then that becomes 13 subtract 5. So 13 subtract 5 becomes 8. Okay, 5 subtract 9 I can't do, so I'm going to borrow from the 4. That will become a 3, and that 5 will become a... Oops, sorry. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mr. Corsi, what are you doing? Okay, that was a 5 originally. 
Okay, and then that will become 15. I borrowed the one from the other column. That'll become 15 subtract 9. 15 subtract 9 is 6, making sure I'm putting that decimal point under the decimal point. 3 subtract 7 I can't do, so I borrow it from there, and it becomes 13 subtract 7. 13 subtract 7 becomes 6. 0 subtract 0 I can't do. Okay, this one was a bit more of a tricky one. You need to make sure you do it carefully, making sure you get decimal points under decimal points. So my answer becomes 66.85. And that's it, guys. That's adding and subtracting decimals.